You want to see somebody else who's been basically telling us that we're snitching on this podcast? What was that? This right here. Put, put the headphones on if you could. Right here. Investigator. Everybody's the police. They sit down. They have three, four people. They talk about this shit like investigators. Why don't you go down to the fucking police department, write yourself an application. Just for context, the Armenians' response to Brick Baby Adam 22 and WAC 100 implicating them in 187s and drug dealing like, shut the fuck up, why don't you? So this guy's basically taking issue with us talking about how uh, Quando, or not Quando Rano, but Lil Pab, allegedly at one point we believed that he was killed because of a drug deal gone wrong. Where he like, was his Ben Latin nephew? <laughs> I actually have no idea who this guy is. I only know about him because of spider Look posting him on okay. yeah. And let them know all about the fucking case. Since you know who did it and who didn't do it. Well, you know, before then, the world thought it was the Armenians because, you know, they sell weed, you know, and the hand was, the hand was sticking out. Nobody thought it was the Armenians. Nobody. Nobody ever said that. Nobody. <laughs> Yo, uh, look how it's because, mouthful. you know, they f*** with the Persians and the Armenians and they have weed. <laughs> Okay. Bro, what are you guys, investigators? Since you guys know so. Okay, so my this might be him. Klitschy? I don't, I don't know what he's talking about. Nobody said the Armenians said. have weed. Okay, but. What is he talking about? He's saying that nobody ever said that Lil Pab got killed over basically running off with a bunch of drugs on some Armenian dudes. That's what the whole he's world He's saying thought. nobody said that. Everybody said that. Everybody said that. Everybody in the streets had heard that rumor, whether you chose to believe it or not. Now, is it snitching for us to have a conversation in which we say some Armenian dudes got ran off on with some weed? I don't really think that's snitching because guess how many Armenian people there are in L.A.? Now, granted, it's not even close to like white or black or Mexican people, but it's, it's a significant amount of people. Yeah. How many of them are in the weed game? I don't know. We are really kind of like helping to narrow it down for the cops there. That is fair. But here's the thing. It's not our fucking job. To protect no. dudes that we don't even know. I'm going to be real. We wasn't narrowing nothing down for the cops. It seemed like whoever put the narrative out there, us talking about it on these big platforms, were keeping the cops from looking at who really might have did it. Because mm. if they were looking at some Armenians over here, then they're a long way from goddamn Illinois. And if it wasn't for Brick Baby going where he went, which wasn't no jumper, mm -hmm. I don't know where he did that at with Flacco. What? That... Whatever that interview was with Flacco. That was on No Jumper. That was when he said that? Okay, well, Brick Baby is the first one to turn people's heads to good old Eel Town. Right, yeah. Us saying this out, listen, if I didn't did something right, mm -hmm. and they said, nah, we hear something happened, he did some bad business in Koreatown. Mm. I'm loving that. Matter of fact, I'm going to pay people to keep saying it. <laughs> Koreatown is a long way from Pacoima. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because mm. if the culprits are from Pacoima and we somehow got the narrative going, he did bad business in Koreatown mm. and they scouring Koreatown, they ain't going to turn up with nothing. It might turn into a cold case. So I can only prov like I can only anti snitch on people that I know or and or give a fuck about. Like, for instance, if I knew that you and your boys committed some crazy crime. Yeah, I'm not going to say it on here. No, but yeah, guess yeah. what? As soon as there's a video in which we see one of your boys jogging away from what appears to be a crime, at that point, it's not snitching for me and Brick and Lush to talk about it and say, whoa, this clip that is on World Star or Academics or whatever today, that's a, that's a crazy clip. I can't believe that we just saw a dude that we know running away from this shooting or whatever. If it's out there for the world to talk about, we're going to talk about it. If you're a fucking criminal mastermind, guess what? You're going to prohibit that from happening by being so slick with your crimes that they don't get out there. Okay, let me give you an example of what I would consider snitching if I did it. Okay. Right? What academics did when he broke down the takeoff videos. Right, which he has done many times. The, the, when King no, Vaughn got killed, Ak again, was the first one watching the tape again, saying, oh, this King Vaughn pulled again, up, he punched him, he got shot. You know, Ak again, does this all the time. No, Ak can do that. Right. He's a civilian. Exactly. I'm saying if WAC 100 did that, took a video and broke it down, froze it, 
did arrows y'all see this y'all because at that point you might be pointing out things that law enforcement didn't overlook academics would do it because he's a civilian if whack did it if you did it i'm gonna look at you like your academics now if you're doing it while i'm sitting here and i'm like yeah yeah i see it then i'm now i'm in violation mm. you get what i'm saying you don't want to be around but other that than that thing. if there's a link we press a link and we hear a dude saying something and we elaborate and have a conversation about what the dude said. Mm. That's not snitching. I agree. That's just us having a conversation about what's already out there. Mm. That guy, honestly, it seems like this may have been like one of his first times using a computer or a phone. So I think from his perspective, he's still probably like kind of figuring out I'm how the whole internet his, thing his works. His wife don't get a chance to enjoy his top lift doing all sex. <laughs> Hey, man, they always tell me, don't play with the Armenians. Dude's beard is like an inch and a half longer than the, the bottom circumference of his top lip. That's like, that ain't cool, bro. Like, you like whisk, whiskey the cat. Like, come on, bro, say that shit lining up or something, bro. Like, because I'm watching you talk, and all I see is the bottom lip. is like a, remember the little handheld uh, puppets? The little Muppets is like, I'm like, yo, where's his lip? But at mm. the end of the day, bro, I don't know what you're talking about. Nobody said the Armenians sell weed. Armenians, whack, white, black, Mexican, Asian. Everybody in the state of California has a license or some type of something to sell weed. Shout out to King Louie, right? Their license been doing it forever on the legal side. So nobody's saying the Armenians sell weed. We're saying the word in the streets was that it was a bad weed deal and he beat some Armenians or Persians or whatever it was out of some money. That was the word of the street. And that's everybody heard that. And if I personally know like dozens of people who have heard that version of the story, I'm pretty sure that the cops have heard about that as well. I mean, they just issued a fucking indictment on the guys that they think that they did it, and we didn't hear anything about any Armenian weed dealers. So, I mean, Nothing. I don't think that uh, there's too much to be worried about. It was about. a great curveball. I feel like that guy's probably the one who got robbed for the weed, and he's pissed off that this whole thing is a media circus, and he's not getting mentioned. That dude probably, oh, you got you got jacked. Mm. So you did get jacked. You just didn't do nothing about it. Just a so theory. you got jacked at the same time. This just so happened to happen. And now you crying because you can't, you know you ain't did nothing about it. You got jacked. But you see what it is, too, is that nobody would even know about that guy making that clip if it wasn't for Spider Loke. And Spider Loke obviously kind of has like a consistent anti whack 100 and newly anti Brick Baby perspective on the world. So. Spider Loke is literally in the trenches finding anybody who has anything negative to say about you, Brick, me, to a lesser extent. I don't think that Spider Loke is really taking aim at me with this, but I think that Spider Loke is really in the trenches trying to find anybody possible who can have a negative narrative about uh, you and Brick. So I guess he found this guy, this beard guy. He went to the local beard convention and found this dude. I don't know. I don't know, bro. Um, but I, I just asked Loose Cannon this morning. I said, yo, where's. Um Spider Logan, him. I ain't heard nothing from him. So, you know, I don't know. Like, if you worried about me, it's bad when you worried about somebody that's like really just like has totally forgot about you. Mm. He's been campaigning on me for like four years now, four or five years. Right. And it hasn't done nothing for him. I feel like we almost got you guys on camera together at one point. It, all, it, it does nothing for him. 